can't grab the sidewalk, but now you're on property. But who's it owned by? Well, we're gonna we're gonna trespass you. You're on you're on private property. I'm on private property, and the Clark County owns it. You need to leave our property. You're trespassing. You're trespassing. Yeah. Thank you. And so now now you're you're aware of public photography, correct, sir? Do I don't even get an apology? Terribly sorry, sir. Welcome back to the Lackluster Channel. This is Joshua Martinez, an activist for First Amendment rights and a YouTuber. He scores high on knowledge of laws and legal process, professionalism, and has a willingness to take his incidents all the way to federal court. If you like this interaction, head over to his channel and let him know that I sent you. On November 16th, 2020, Joshua was taking pictures from a public sidewalk of the Clark County Detention Center just outside of Las Vegas, Nevada, when he was approached by two correctional officers. Hey, what's up guys? Joshua Martinez here. Out in front of the Clark County Detention Center, North Valley Complex. You're good. Doing Going all right. How about yourself? Good, good. How you doing? Pretty good. Can I, uh, can I help you? No, thank you. You're good. All right. Can I ask you why you're taking pictures of the facility? Excuse me? Can I ask you why you're taking pictures of our facility? I'm not saying you can, I'm just asking if you... Yeah, I, I know, I just don't feel like answering any questions. Okay. Alright. Alright, sir. What's that? Is this pro public or private? I can't even hear you guys, we're, we're screaming. Is this public property or private? It's private, sir. It's private? Okay. Who's it owned by? It's okay if you're on the sidewalk, but now you're in our property. But who's it owned by? The county. The county, which the county. is owned by the people. Leave, Excuse me? I'm serious, you're not to leave. Call your, call your supervisor right. out here, please. Stop right there. For Stop what? Stop right there. Stop right there, sir. For what? Look, listen. The stuff may work on the inmates, but it isn't going to work on me. This right. isn't my first time here. Right, What's sir. your name and badge well, number? We're going to we're going to trespass you. You're on you're on private property. I'm on private property, and the Clark County owns it. The Clark County owns it, right? What's your name and badge number? As long as I'm not in sec any security areas, I'm fine. Got a couple officers who don't want to, who don't want to ID. After threatening to trespass Mr. Martinez, the two COs entered the facility to appeal to a higher authority and attempt to get Joshua thrown off the property. With some exceptions, law enforcement officers have no authority to demand that you leave a publicly accessible space simply because you are taking pictures, nor does the government have the right to prevent you from photographing anything that is visible from a public space, including government facilities or employees. However, the police will often follow through on their threats to arrest and trespass you. In that event, any vindication for wrongful arrest and violation of your civil rights would only come at the end of protracted and expensive litigation in the courts. After waiting outside for a few moments, Mr. Martinez approaches the front door of the establishment and waits for a supervising officer to make contact. How you doing? Hey, you need to leave our property, you're trespassing. What's that? You need to leave our property. You're trespassing. You're trespassing? Yeah. Can you get your hand off my No, I cannot get my hand off the camera. How about this? We'll call a field officer out here. Okay. And when they get here, I can talk to them. Last time I'm going to tell you, Look, you need to leave the you property. You're trespassing. Your you need to leave the property. You're trespassing. You know what? Then formally trespass me. I'll take a formal trespass. Lieutenant Butler arrives on scene and immediately grabs Mr. Martinez's camera, physically detaining him while simultaneously telling him to leave and threatening him with a formal trespass. Joshua is now officially detained and handcuffed as the lieutenant waits for his supervisor to arrive on scene. During this time, the officers turn off the camera and end the recording. This is especially egregious as the officers do not have body cams. Then formally trespass me. I'll take a formal trespass. Okay, all right. That's what walk you, you off the property. I, am, I don't care who you are. Okay. Well, yeah, that's you fine. can't be I mean, here. I've been involved with a couple of federal lawsuits. That's so. absolutely wonderful. Has that ever worked your, out for get you? Get your hand off of my fucking camera. Okay, I'm telling you, I leave our nice. property. This isn't your property. This you need to leave property. our property. Get your hand off my fucking camera. You need camera. to leave our property. Get your hand off my fucking camera. You need camera. to leave our property. Call, not, call the police out here now. Well, you call need to Metro. Go. 
Because you're a CO. You need to go. You're a CO. You need Get to your go. fucking hands off my fucking camera, sir. All right, do we already call? Yeah. We call patrol? Call him. Okay. Call him. Turn around, put your okay. hands behind your back. I'm not doing anything. Turn around, put your hands behind your back. How can I leave when you're holding on to my camera? No, he asked you asked nicely to leave that you would not leave. It's if, very if, simple. Can, you're can on we have a property. Can we have a cordial conversation about it? No, we can't. Do you, you know, do you know who sent me here? You do, you guys, do you guys know who sent me here? I don't really care right now. Okay, then right you will. Now, you will. If, you will. Moments later, Captain Forbus arrives on scene and after learning about the details of the interaction, orders the release of Mr. Martinez. So you're a field officer, I assume, right? Thank you, Butler. Yep. Thank you. And so now, now you're you're aware of public photography, correct, sir? Do I, I don't even get an apology because if, if we can just settle this right now. I won't even go file a complaint. It, a, an apology. I'll be a man and put this behind me and go on about my business. Terribly sorry, sir. Thank you. I appreciate that, and I accept your apology. Appreciate that. Fair enough. All right, guys. Uh, well, thank you, um, yeah. Forbus. Yep. Yeah, I'm Captain Force 5372. Thank you. That's my P number. Yep. Thank you. And you, Absolutely. Field Officer? Sergeant LeBaron, P number 9249. Sergeant Walquist 4847. Thank you. And yours? Relay 7627. Thank you. Thank you, fellas. Yeah. No, absolutely. So, I'm asking, you're going to stay and do still do some photography and stuff, right? Right, right. Just, just, just do me a favor. I know I'll stay away from yeah, from the that's a safety issue. We'll have to approach you again if you go yeah. over toward that area here. But if you're, you know, if you're around this area here, taking well, photos and stuff, you're fine. Right, publicly publicly accessible areas. I don't feel like going down that ramp anyways. Yeah. So I'm good. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm like I said, I want to get picture of the sunset with the flag. Yeah, no I want to just get those you're things. So all right, all right. So uh, I need to ask you: Do you still want to file a complaint or anything like that? I can take a complaint if you want to file a complaint. You know what? I would rather him get the education this way. Um, so if, okay. if anything, if I do file a complaint, I'll just go online okay. and I'll file gotcha. a complaint. But right. right now the adrenaline's still going, my mind's Understood. all over the place. So I, I, I don't even know. I wanted to offer that to you and then we'll, we'll have a discussion about the training and all that stuff and make sure that's addressed. Okay. okay. All, all right. right. Hey, well, thank okay. you. Thank all right, you. Sir. you. Have a good day. Take care. Overall, Captain Forbes did an excellent job at de-escalating the situation and educating his officers. Time and time again, I see videos of regular officers violating citizens' rights and making illegal arrests for constitutionally protected activities. Typically in these cases, it is the supervisor that disrupts the massive amounts of illegal detentions and arrests as they have much better training, and perhaps that's the problem. While each department is different in their requirements, a typical beat officer attends a six-month academy and a shadowed by a field training officer for up to a year during their probationary or rookie period. Sergeants, lieutenants, captains, and other leadership ranks require lengthy times of service and many more hours of didactic training to promote into those positions. While abolishing qualified immunity and enforcing private personal insurance, similar to malpractice insurance, may lessen civil rights violations, it is obvious that officers do not receive enough training before they are assigned to an active unit. It is likely that if every sworn officer received as much training as those in leadership ranks, the taxpayers could be off the hook for billions of dollars spent on settlements every year in the U.S. for bad policing. Joshua Martinez is currently looking for legal representation for this case. If you would like to help, I highly suggest that you subscribe to his channel for future updates. Thank you for watching. If you have an interaction you'd like me to review, email it to me or submit it through Facebook Messenger. The links are down below. I was handcuffed, had my, my things stripped from me. I probably will go put a complaint on that officer. I just don't know yet. If, I don't know if it's a waste of my time. I mean, look at my wrists. Remember why we do this. Okay, we do this for freedom to protect liberty. There'll be days you get thrown in cuffs. There'll be days you get thrown in jail. There'll be days where you're just asking yourself, do we really live in a free country? Some of you may be disagreeing with the way I handled these things. Some of you may be disagreeing with, with the way things went down and, and I, I should have been more aggressive with the officers. But you know what? I would rather them learn First Amendment um, protected, protected activity and, and know that what I'm doing is, is perfectly legal. So I, uh, you know what, 
I'm gonna give it a little more thought because uh, I'm really pissed, but then at the same time, I'm, I'm glad that someone was there, like uh, the lieutenant, I believe, or the captain, who was able to educate his officers on uh, First Amendment conduct. So he was grabbing my camera, would not let it go, telling me to leave the property. How can I leave the property when he's holding on to my things? He's holding on to my camera. That concludes our video for today. Please subscribe and turn on all notifications so you never miss a video. If you're old here, like, share, comment down below what you think of this interaction, and consider a channel membership or merch to further support the channel. If you have an incident you'd like us to review, link it down below or contact us through the social media platforms linked in the description.